I welcome all the students present in this video lecture. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the various types of combustion chamber for the petrol engine or SI engines. In the previous two lectures, we are discussing about the combustions and various stages of combustion in the petrol engine. Now, after discussions of this various types of stages of combustions for petrol engine, then we have discussed about the abnormal combustions and that is known as a knocking phenomena in the petrol engine. Then we have discussed the various factor which affects the knocking tendencies in petrol engine and various uh, types of the technique to remove or to overcome the tendency of knock in the petrol engine. So just we do the revision of that and then we start with the combustion chamber so we have discussed about this combustion then homogeneous mixtures then this is the p theta diagram with the considerations of combustion for the theoretical considerations of the combustion in si engine then we have discussed about the actual p theta diagrams and here we have the motor curve as well as the actual a diagram for the pressure versus the crank angle then we have divided the whole combustion process of the petrol engine into the three different stages stage one stage two and stage three there is a ignition lag there is a propagation of frame and the after burning so the spark is happens at a that is called as a advanced spark or ignition advance or we can say the delay period then to reach towards the high pressure inside the cylinders and then the after burning will start so this is the three different stages of the petrol engines or si combustion then we have discussed about the flame front propagations and various factors that affect the flame speed inside the cylinders and we have discussed about the normal combustion that is known as a nogging and various factors that affects the knocking tendency in petrol engine that we have discussed and various factor that is a time factor density factors we have already discussed in the previous lecture how the engine size and combustion chamber shape and everything is depends the tendency of knock and here the various factors that affect the knocking tendency in petrol engine is listed and that is a compression ratio the mass of charge inducted inlet temperature then chamber wall temperature spark advance air fuel ratio turbulence engine speed and the distance of flame travel it means the geometric dimensions of the engines now students after discussions of this all the factors and the combustion phenomena in the petrol engine today we are going to discuss about the various types of combustion chamber for the petrol engine the design of combustion chamber for the petrol engine has an important influence on the engine performance and its knocking tendency students as we know that various geometrical dimensions of the engine cylinders as well as the locations of spark plug and the turbulence is basically depends on the shape and size of an combustion chamber so the design of combustion chamber is very important or it creates the greater influence on the engine performance as well as in the knocking tendency the design of the combustion chamber involves the shape of combustion chamber the location of spark plug as well as the locations of inlet and exhaust valve the important requirement of an si engine combustion chambers are to provide the high power output with minimum octane requirement as we know that student octane number of the petrol fuels or the si fuels is generally represent the anti knock qualities of the fuel so here the first consideration is that with minimum octane requirement we get the maximum power output then the second is the high thermal efficiency means we achieve the high thermal efficiency and the third is the smooth operations of an engine so these three are the basic requirement or we can say the important requirement of combustion chamber for the petrol engine so here the smooth engine operations that aims of any engine design to achieve 
the smooth operations and the good economy and this can be achieved by the different uh, points which is mentioned over here so the first point is moderate rate of pressure rises limiting the rate of pressure rise as well as the positions of peak pressures with respect to tdc affect the smooth engine operations students generally we have no about the abnormal combustions in the si engines and which vary the pressure inside the cylinders after reaching the tdc so this is very important aspect to get a good economics or means we can say that the good amount of power generation with the help of minimum requirement of fuel so this is an important point then second is reducing the possibilities of knocking as we know that the knocking is damage the engines as well as the piston heads some types of the some parts of the piston crown also so reduction in possibilities of knocking an engine can be achieved by so we know that what are the different factors that affect the knocking and if we have control that factors then automatically the tendency of knocking will reduces so here the first point is there the reducing the distance of flame travel means distance required to travel by the flame is reduces then we can have the reduction in the tendency of knocking then the secondary is a satisfactory cooling of spark plug and exhaust valve area students this is very important point otherwise the hot spot is created near about the area of the spark plug and the exhaust valve and this creates the two different flame front and which oppose each others and it may be possible if the temperature of this area is higher than the burning of charge will start before the starting of spark plug so this is the second point the third point is reducing the temperature of the last portion of the charges means if by certain techniques if we are able to reduce the unburnt charges which creates the flame front which is moving in opposite directions of the flame front which is traveled from the spark plug so through the applications of high surface to volume ratio in the part where the last portions of the charge burn so that way we can reduce the temperature of the last portions of the charge high power output and the thermal efficiency this can be achieved by considering the following factors a high degree of turbulence is needed to achieve the high flame front velocity and which reduce the time for the combustions so turbulence is induced by the inlet flow configurations or squares so when the charges are enters inside the cylinder so we need to design the combustion chamber in such a way that the in inflow or intake fluids which is comes have certain types of turbulence is there and which generates the proper mixings of the fuel and air mixings so the squeeze is the rapid radial movement of gas trap in between the piston and cylinder head into the bowl or the dom the squeeze can be induced the spark ignition engine by having a bowl in the pistons or with a dome shaped cylinder heads so students this is comes under the design uh, development of an uh, ic engines or petrol engine so if we can provide this kind of arrangement for the cylinder heads on the, and the piston heads then we can achieve the more amount of turbulence and which creates the homogeneous mixing of the petrol and air and that leads towards the proper generations of power output as well as we have the better thermal efficiency then second is high volumetric efficiency this is also important if your volumetric efficiency is less means your power output is directly affected because the mass per piston displacement is less because of the less amount of volumetric efficiency so more charge during the suction stroke result in an increase of the power output as more mass contain the more energy and more energy is converted into the more power output 
so this is the fundamental things regarding with the high volumetric efficiency of an ic engine this can be achieved by providing an ample clearance around the wall heads the large diameter of wall and straight passage with the minimum pressure drops and with the help of these points we can achieve the high volumetric efficiency and high volumetric efficiency is leads towards the maximum power output then improve anti knock characteristics that we have i think we have already discussed and how it affects the efficiency at the time of rating of fuels then a last point the point a compact combustion chambers so compact combustion chamber means that reduce the heat losses during the combustions and increase the thermal efficiency means if the heat which is generated by the combustions of fuel that get lost from the cylinder walls and various area of the piston and cylinder arrangement then we have the decrement or we can say the reduction in the thermal efficiency so with the help of compact type of combustion chamber with the help of loss Uh, during the combustion process is reduces and then we get increase in the thermal efficiency so this is the basic requirement now the different types of combustion chambers have been developed over the period of time and some of them are represented over here so first is t type a t head type then second is l head type third is i type or it is called as overhead valve and fourth one is f head type so the combustion chambers so students t types of combustion chamber the name itself suggests that it is a t types of the structure is there so you can observe over here the inlet and exhaust wall is there inlet wall is indicated with the high and exhaust wall is indicated with the e and s is indicating the spark plug locations and why it is called as a t head the t head combustion chambers were used in the early stage of engine development since the distance across the combustion chamber is very large and as we know that the if the flame has to travel the more distance then there is tendency for knocking is also increases so the knocking tendency is high in this kind of engines this configuration provides the two valve on either sides of the cylinders require two cam shaft because it is both are located in the different sides so we have to use the two different cam shaft to operate that valve from manufacturing point of view providing two different cam shaft is also an disadvantage because it increase the weight of the engines then we are moving towards the next that is l head and here you can see that it is l head the modifications of t head types combustion chamber is called as a l head types of combustion chamber which provides the two valve on the same sides either it is left side or right side but it is on the single side so that the difficulty that we found in t that two types of cam shaft we need to provide but here in the l head types of the combustion chamber we only require the single cam shaft for operations of this valve and both the valves are located on the same side then there is the uh, i type or we can say the i head types or overhead types of uh, valve situation is there and name itself suggests that overhead valve means the valve is located on the over side of the piston and sometimes the i shape is there that's why it is called as a i head types of combustion chamber in which both the valves are located on the cylinder heads the overhead valves engine is superior to the side valve some of the important characteristics of this valve arrangement are there less surface to volume ratio and therefore the less heat losses is there less flame travel length and hence the greater freedom from knock high volumetric efficiency from the large valve and valve lifts so these are the advantages we get with the help of i types or i head types of combustion chambers now the f head types of combustion chamber the f head types of combustion chamber have a valve arrangement in comprises of l head and i head combustion chamber with one valve is in the cylinder head and other in the cylinder block so students here you can see that here the exhaust valve is in the cylinder heads and another is in the cylinder blocks so it is a combinations of 
the L and means overhead as well as the side wall type of arrangement. The modern F-fed engines have exhaust valve in the head and inlet valve in the cylinder blocks. The main disadvantage of these types is that the inlet valve and the exhaust valve are separately actuated by the two camshaft. Means same issues are there uh, uh, that is associated with the T types of combustion chamber. So two camshaft is required to operate these two different valves. So this is the different types of the combustion chambers which is available uh, for the petrol engine. Thank you for attending the lecture.